Melissa, in, in general, I like to see uh, riders seated in the approach for their show jumping. Him, I'm not so sure. Because I think when we touch his back, he squirts out from underneath us. Here. Good. You're a split second late, but you turn your eyes in the air, and he went, why didn't you tell me? You could feel him reach for it. Yeah. Huh? I was making the point that Ann, the moment I got Ann to look to the right, because that horse is more experienced, we got right lead. You were a split second late, but you went, oh, right. And he went, why didn't you tell me? And he, and he went that way. If I can get Sam to look to the right, he'll land on the right lead. Nine times out of ten, you continue. Uh, outside the new outside leg or, or the new leg of the of the lead if we're going to ask for right lead our left leg goes back left lead canter our right leg goes back and keep your aids more simple right now don't make your canter aids complicated I'm, I'm relaxed we've only got one more group so if if we move the time back five or ten minutes I get that uh, um, I'm about to wind up anyway. Look, look, look where you're going. See, I know we're circling, but it would be nice to have the right lead already. Yeah, no, you're circling, right lead, circling, continuing now the gate to the white rails. But you take my point there. You would have had a smoother exercise if you were already on the inside lead. You landed, you took a couple of steady strides, then you loosened, but by that time you had him on a 10. Come uphill again, Martha, and it's loose rein, one, two, three, four, five. Not one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, because it was too late, especially for a young horse to make up the distance. You know, you've heard me before, we solve a related distance in the landing after the last one, not the takeoff. He should be out of options. By the time he takes the fifth stride, there are no other options available to him but to leave the ground. <coughs> so if that being the case, then ride them the way that will produce the best jumping. So we have to interfere Some, You know, Melissa has to interfere. Martha has to interfere until Move. Quiet. Oh, good boy. Holy cow. You got five, yeah? You got five. But see, so you, you move for a couple of strides, and then you just went quiet. And I hope, you, I hope they got a still picture of you over the oxer. Pow. Good boy. <laughs> 